welcome to your virtual work experience guide. Over the next hour, you are going to learn more about the catering and hospitality sector here in the UK. In this one hour session, we will help you to understand the different types of organizations, understand the variety of different employers, begin to consider the careers available in this sector and where they can take you. Evaluate the skills, attitudes and behaviours needed to be successful in the industry. Across the hour you'll watch a selection of short videos and then complete the activities, quizzes and reflection summaries in the digital workbook. The digital workbook is for you only and will not be marked but the more you put into it the more your future self will benefit. The catering and hospitality sector includes businesses that cover accommodation, food and beverage, leisure and entertainment and travel and tourism. The sector hires more than 4 million people in the UK which means 12.4% of all employees that's equivalent to three in every 25 people. There are great opportunities for young people. From junior positions, there are training and pathways that can take you up to senior management and even business ownership. This sector can provide fulfilling and financially rewarding careers for everyone. Careers in the sector can be long lasting, varied and offer lots of different types of training and development along the way. There is also lots of flexibility, offering opportunities both day and night and across the globe. Pause the video now and make sure that you have downloaded and saved your digital workbook so you can be ready to complete the first exercise after the next video. Now, let's take a closer look at the accommodation part of the catering and hospitality sector. Accommodation services employ half a million people on an average wage of around £21,000. Examples of jobs in accommodation services include accommodation manager, front of house staff and housekeeping roles. Think about all of the types of hotels and their differences from the ones you already know and may have been to. From the cosy bed and breakfast at the seaside to the city hotel that provides a great place to stay for people traveling for work or pleasure to the resort hotels across the world. Then there is the private or online holiday rental market, youth hostels, theme park hotels, lodges in woodlands, spa, golf and luxury hotels. One star through to five star, these accommodation businesses all vary from the price and service levels they offer. They also vary in who owns them with thousands of independent bed and breakfasts to the big chains with easily recognisable brands. Large chains may have more career opportunities in the hotels themselves, often with management roles to oversee standards. These may span regional and national areas of coverage and will often be run by a head office, which will be home to the marketing, HR, human resources, finance, legal and other core department staff. In smaller organisations, roles like marketing, finance and HR will still need to be done but likely in different ways. Creativity, problem solving and adaptability will all be essential to be successful in these settings. Now turn to your digital workbook to complete the accommodation activity. The food and beverage or drinks industry is huge. There are so many options, street food, family owned businesses, seaside fish and chips, village pubs, fast food chains, takeaways, professional caterers and Michelin star restaurants. Food moves and thank goodness for that, you can order it wherever you are. So what makes this industry work? Well it is of course the people. Nothing can be served without the hard work of the 275,000 chefs, 475,000 kitchen assistants, 125,000 restaurant managers and 365,000 waiting staff, among others. A total of just under 2 million people work in this sector, earning on average £16,000. 
what skills does it take to work in the food and beverage sector? The skills needed are wide ranging from the skills of the chefs who don't just need to know how to cook food, but also need to be creative in designing new menus and making food look great. To the people working with customers who need great customer service and communication skills essential in creating great experiences. Then there are the people managing these great places. They need meticulous planning and organization skills to manage staffing, ordering budgets and much more. People who work in this sector will tell you that it's fast paced, hard work, but so rewarding. It is the place to build careers. It's an ever growing industry and the journey from an entry level job to senior management and even business ownership is not just possible, but happens all the time. Who better to run a restaurant chain than the people who know just how it works? Now turn to your digital workbook to complete the food and beverage activity. The leisure and entertainment sector is all about the experience. From gyms, swimming pools to cinemas and bowling alleys, this sector is something we all benefit from in some way. In towns and cities up and down the country, there are thousands of leisure and entertainment venues, helping people to enjoy their free time, stay fit and well, and have places to have fun with friends and family members. Around 730,000 people work in this sector with an average salary of around 26,000 pounds with plenty of options for part-time work. Leisure and entertainment is a place where many young people start their working lives. With opportunities for part-time and seasonal work, these businesses tend to be busiest during out-of-school hours. There will be a number of customer-facing roles in this sector. Customers only go back to businesses when they've had a good and positive experience, so customer service roles play a huge part. Whilst not every role faces the customer, every role does play a part in making sure the experience is a memorable one. That could be making sure it's clean and looking its best, that the equipment is safe and the people using it are safe, to managing these spaces and the people that work in them. It's a great place to gain skills and experience, but also to begin a long and rewarding career. Now turn to your digital workbook to complete the leisure and entertainment activity. Travel and tourism is a hugely diverse sector. The travel aspect focuses on how people get from A to B, planes, trains, boats, cars, buses, and all the work that goes into making these systems work. 940,000 people work in the travel and tourism sector and the average salary is around £32,000. A train station or airport can be a bustling place with thousands of people moving around to get to work, holiday or family destinations. For every journey, it takes hundreds of people in a range of roles to ensure the smooth running of such a big and complex system. More than 90,000 people keep our airports running in the UK but only 20% of those are pilots or engineers, so there are plenty of roles to explore. Tourism is all about the activities people might do when they are visiting a place for the first time. Historic buildings such as castles, big attractions, museums, art galleries, zoos, amusement parks and arcades, parks, farms and more. Up to 200,000 people work within tourism with an average salary of between £21,000 and £29,000. People travel across the world to see some of the key tourist attractions. Villages, towns and cities across the world rely on the travel and tourism sector for their economy. It creates jobs and it brings in much needed revenue to maintain attractions and the local services. It's such a vital part to our personal enjoyment and also to the people that work in these areas. Now turn to your digital workbook to complete the travel and tourism activity. The 
great thing about the catering and hospitality sector is that there are so, so many ways you can access opportunities. In education, you could focus on catering and hospitality, travel and tourism, and business subjects. This could be through vocational qualifications, academic and T-level routes. From here, you can explore apprenticeships, including degree apprenticeships, graduate jobs and entry-level jobs, where the on-the-job training and experience you gain will allow you to build your career. Regardless of the industry or company size, almost every employer will be looking for similar behaviours and skills in their workforce. Good communication and people skills, hard working, self-management, problem solving, and someone who's motivated to deliver excellent levels of service. Experience and training are not always essential for entry-level posts, but if you can demonstrate some of the skills through the work experience you've had, your hobbies or activities in education, that will definitely help. You could look to do some standard training like food safety or food hygiene, for example. You can also complete the free Young Professional Programme to develop your skills, confidence and knowledge for the world of work. You'll be able to show a future employer the certificates you achieve from taking part in the Young Professional Programme. Once you're in a role in the catering and hospitality sector, you'll be able to build your skills and experience through on-the-job learning and possibly additional training that good companies offer. Next steps. Consider how you might find some work experience. Do you know people already working in roles that could help you? Could you find a part-time entry position or even take your CV into some local catering and hospitality places? Great, well done. You've completed the catering and hospitality virtual work experience. Now, don't forget to check out the Young Professional Programme to build on the skills and information you've learnt today.